everyone. This is Callie Teagarden. Happy Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining Gail Marie Merrill and I tonight on this relationship marketing overview. I know most of you are probably stuck at home, going a little crazy, spending probably more time than you have on Facebook in the past. So um, welcome. We're really excited to share with you tonight. So Gail Marie, thanks so much for being on with me. Thank you so much for having me. I am looking forward to this interview, especially since there are so many of us trying to find something to do, and here we are. Exactly, and you're coming live from Florida this evening. I am from Florida in a quaint little town called Hope Sound. We are one of the unincorporated towns still. Love that, and I'm coming live from Sugarland, Texas, just outside of the Houston area. And so tonight, Gail, Marie, and I are gonna talk about the power of sending a card and gift, especially in the time that we're in right now, right? Reaching out into kindness. Um, we both work with a company called Send Out Cards. Our company actually sent 32,000 cards on Monday, right? Just think about that. One day. In one day, just think about that much love, going out into the world right now. And so we're really gonna talk about this. And if you're in business and you're looking for a way to stay in touch right now, um, when this is over, get back with the person who invited you to this webinar, or share this Facebook Live with you. They can help you get started because I believe those that stay best in touch, not selling right now, but really appreciating and loving on their clients and their sphere of influence will come out of this strongest. Because what we give out in life, if we give to give, it truly comes back. The hope, the prosper, and definitely the love. Yeah, definitely. So the And a little bit of sugar. <laughs> I love it. So as again, my name is Callie Teagarden. Um, I'm really excited to have Gail Marie on tonight. Uh, she's been an entrepreneur since age nine when she started selling homegrown avocados and mangoes in the Miami area where she grew up. She yep. majored in merchandise um, design. Uh, at Miami Dade, and your first job, I love this, you were a fashion merchandiser for Saks Fifth Avenue. So we both have this like passion for really cool shoes. Um, and you still love to shop today. I do, and I even got a job that paid me to do it. <laughs> I love that. I never had that job. <laughs> um, you've also had other entrepre entrepreneurial ventures and jobs. Um, one of one was owning a veterinary clinic with in South Tampa with your now passed away husband, Dr. Stuart Rosenberg. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away from lung cancer, but you took care of him during his fight with cancer. And I know you have a very special story to share about that experience tonight. Um, you love send out cards. You're an executive in our company. You share send out cards with others and teach them how to bring positive energy uh, you, one of your largest clients is an animal clinic that actually sends cards to the pets. Yes, it goes to the pet. <laughs> and so we'll talk about that. The and pet for, is really our patient. So. Right, yeah. exactly. And for fun, you and I like have this connection. We both love the water. We love scuba diving. Um, you have a lot more skydives than I do. I only have one in, and you have over a thousand jumps. We have both traveled the world. And so it's so great to have you on. So to start with um, tonight, right, relationship marketing overview, we are going to talk about sending cards and gifts. But what does this concept of relationship marketing really mean to you, Gail Marie? I think the relationship sometimes um, we forget how to say, hi, how you doing? Um, we lost it in the tech zone because you don't know my emotions from saying, hi, how you doing today? And then you don't hear the reply back. So I think staying in touch with someone through a card has always been, and back in the day, it was a handwritten card. Back in the day, it was a little note. Now it is a true greeting card that really can touch your emotions that everybody goes to the mailbox. And guess what? In this unfortunate time zone we're in, we are back by the postal service we and are. that real mail mailman comes in um we even had um 
last night we were sketched in stone to say how our product will be delivered and it is delivered by your postmaster it comes in your mailbox so when you go to the mailbox sometimes if it's a bigger box it waits at the door for you but when you open that i know my family knows exactly the little symbol of a little envelope and they know oh oh it's something yummy in here oh 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 but I have friends that I haven't touched base with, unfortunately, when Stu passed away. That was the easiest way. And the cards I received were just, how do you not, how do you replace that human touch through the mail? Right. And neither rain nor shine nor heat nor, I don't remember the whole. Um, wait, wait. It was it? near snow, near rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these carriers from swift comp. comp complications of their appointed rounds. That means those guys race on their horses, as we know, and we even have, as we were talking about travel, the Galapagos, it's called Stewart Island, and they deliver by boat. Wow, that's awesome. And so that's the uh, Postal Service. That's from yeah, the beginning. Not, and really, yeah. right now, it is, we were on a call the other night, it is the backbone of our country, because most of us aren't leaving our homes, maybe to go get groceries, um, maybe to go out for a walk in nature. And so having that delivery, right, is the backbone of our nation right now. And that will stay intact. And one of the things with send out cards, as long as the Postal Service is running, we are sending out cards because we know the power of reaching out in kindness to someone right now. There's so many people that are isolated. They're away from loved ones. And this power of being able to touch people where they're at, right? A lady said the other day, it's a tangible touch in a no touch world right now. Right. It's a way to be able to stay in touch. And so let's talk, I wanna talk about, um, uh, your veterinary service first, right. right? So if we have business owners listening to this, let's talk about how they're using send out cards to really stay in touch and grow their business. So with our veterinarian clinic, what we did is, and now we have a, an awesome couple owns it. I, we have, excuse you, we have an awesome couple that had purchased the clinic and they have done an awesome job. They have taken it to the level where we had our dream go to. But the one thing that I brought back into right away was, how are we touching base with our clients? How, how do we stand out different than our human doctors? So what we did is we set up, which was an awesome system in there. You can set up one card, and here is our card we send out to our clients. Oh, this so one card can be set up, and it's, all ready to go and it will pick up what we do is inside it tells the story of welcome to the clinic gives in deep detail it says welcome to our clinic we wanted to let you know if you have any questions just very briefly and it came from dr rosenberg well when people come in, into the clinic where you see them always in the grocery store you know hey how you doing you remember their pet name you oh hey how's george doing and then you're like I hope I can remember their last name. But what it does is they're just like, my dog got a card from his doctor to say, welcome to his clinic. I ain't getting nothing from my doctor. And that right there set us apart. And send out cards also gave us an additional tool. When you're in a room with someone and they go, my mom is so sick. I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself. You put a sticky note on that folder. Well, now we're paperless, but it still goes on a folder. And that sticky note goes back through the end of the day to say she needed a card sent to her. And it's not welcome to the clinic. It is a card to say, your day is just as crazy as everybody else's. And let her know that she was thinking. Uh, that just, they pick up the phone and go, you have no idea how that made me feel. Thank you so much. Or they had a baby or you just don't know. That gave us the opportunity to pick out of 12,000 cards. You can find one card to make it work with someone. And if you didn't like that card, you can drop a picture of their pet or somebody saying, hey, we wanted you to have a fun day. When they get that in that, open that up, sometimes they don't even make it to the front door. They go to the mailbox and make it to the front door. That just brought that love and connection 
that you cannot replace. No, you can't. So that's how we utilize it in our clinic. We definitely did our, definitely, you know, your Christmas card. But what we also did, and a lot of clinics will do this, and a lot of companies will do it. They won't say, I'll say. You pick your five, your, like we had 3,200 clients. We picked the 500 top clients. It doesn't mean you're good or bad. It doesn't mean you spent more or not. But we had to pull out 500. They got a bag of bubble gum, which is unreal, a nice cute bag. And clients got that. Wow. And they're just like, oh, that was cute. Thanks for the Christmas gift, blah, blah, blah. Well, we can't say Christmas because Dr. Rosenberg is Jewish. So we would say, it's everybody's holiday. Pick a name and that's what you get. But that was another touch to show from a business side how we communicated, not just with the card, the power of a gift. Yeah, the power of a gift is so powerful. And, you know, you think about it, we do business um, with the company, but we really do business with the people in that company, okay. right? And how many times do we, are we never thanked or people don't appreciate it? And I believe as business owners, as salespeople, we appreciate our clients, but the disconnect is if we don't tell them that we appreciate them, if we don't send them something, they don't realize it, right? It's a huge disconnect in business. So if you appreciate your clients, the number one thing you got to do is tell them. And some people do it through an email, but an email is lost in moments. We, we have thousands of emails that aren't read, but that tangible touch makes all the difference. People remember it because we don't get much fun mail these days. I can tell you even little people. I have grant, I have not just nieces, I have grand niece and nephews now. And my, my niece says to me, oh my God, let me see the mail. Is my name on something? She's five, she knows what her name is. And oh, this is for me. And we have a cute, I, I hope they're still in stock. It's a little, you open your card and a butterfly jumps out. We do still have those. Though, oh, a while I looked the other day, I think that I was like, oh, where are they? But that is something I have sent out to people and I cannot tell you, it, it, they go, you scared the caca out of me, but it was just too funny. And then you can redo it, put it back in a card and do it to somebody else. So right. um, I love that. there's a gift there that it, it comes in the card, that gift. So there's different types, different ways to show our love and appreciation to everyone. Right, from both a business side, but also from a personal yeah, side. Personal. And I know you have a very personal story <laughs> that you haven't shared much, but if you're willing to share it, because I think it's, it's, it's a powerful story for Ooh. people to hear, especially in today's day and age. Okay, I'll hold myself together for a minute. Um, send out cards was so powerful when um Stu got sick we knew the touch of a card was there he had um his own little account he had his little ipad he would send things da 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 this is back when um the ipad sometimes would not accept um this is going back seven yeah. years ago it would go in and out and finally his little ipad did what it needed and of course you know, I'm his caregiver and he's there. He's always on. He, you know, it, it was his entertainment. And also he definitely still communicated with his clients. He did acupuncture on our front porch sometimes like what? So he passed away and it was weird. Got all these cards coming in, all kinds of gifts, stuff like that. And here's a send out cards thing. Now, I think it's from my friend, Mary, who is an executive as well with send out cards, sending me, of course, sugar. <laughs> and I open it up and I'm like, oh, so I get this card. I love that card. This card I love. This is very similar to my old dog who passed away, who did pet therapy with me. She was all black, but this was close enough. And when I wanted to go look for a new puppy, I was told I had to go to the Humane Society, of course, and now I am praying to the shepherds of animals. 
please let a Jack Russell be in there. Let a Jack Russell be in there. I want a Jack Russell. And he's like, you do not want a Jack Russell. And I'm like, oh, yes, I do. Well, we got Genghis Goat, and she was half Schnauzer, half Jack Russell. Oh, wow. And girl, I had to get that dog a job, which we did at doing pet therapy. But this card I received with a gift in it. Stu had passed away Tuesday, November the 19th. On Thursday, this was at my door. It gives me the chills. So this card, this card is just unreal. Now I know we have online stuff all the time and you can order things, da da da. But I got this mug. This mug is what we call a grateful um, gratitude, best gift ever. You can send someone to show your appreciation. Well, I got that and I'm like, hmm, okay. So I look and on the back, it says from who it came from and who it went to. So now I know it's from Stu. And inside, I'll try, it says, Dear Gil Marie, I am sure sometimes you feel like the dog on the front. Well, what's it doing? Ah! <laughs> yes, there were times that um, on the front that I wanted to scream every now and then. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being such a rock and supportive wife. Sorry. I am truly sorry if I don't say thank you enough. Not a moment goes by that you aren't here for me. And of course, love Stu. I mean, I, I have the chills right now. I mean, how powerful you will always have that memory of him because he acted on a prompting a yes days before he passed away to send you a note of love oh it was this is me because there were days i would go out to the garage and go Rah! and then i walk back in and go okay i'm good now and then i was like wow it dropped it dropped me to the floor just reading it but the power the power of send out cards priceless it is priceless and it's and it's the power of acting on those promptings for when that prompting that inner voice that says reach out to this person right i remember when my mom passed away one of her friends said i had a prompting i should or she didn't say prompting but she's like i really felt like i should have called her had before she died and she did it and she like i regret it and that's what this tool allows people to do because when you have that thought about someone you have that prompting act yep. on it right and what i love about it is if he'd sent you that e an, an email you would have gotten it right away the power of having that card right i believe he passed away seven years ago yep. and november will be seven yep. yeah and you still have that card it looks yep. like a brand new card it doesn't look like it's been it's, been, it's been abused it's been abused <laughs> like okay come on i feel it and um it, it is amazing that that and, and I haven't shared that story. So a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that story. So let me, I'm going to go show everyone how they can send the card oh, and perfect. then give you a moment <laughs> and then we'll come back. And well, I'm good now. I have his silliness in me now, so I'm good. <laughs> and then um, we'll come back and chat with everyone else again. So let me go and uh, pull up my phone so that everyone can see. So now you should be able to see my uh, send out cards app over here. And so I can come in and I can build your own. That was like the card that you received in the mail. Um, you can also have third birthday, thank you, holiday, love, all kinds. We have some really cool just because cards right now, some oh, with dogs, so right? but then also the social distancing cards. I love this. The year of 2020 has been a very long decade. And There's so, a cute one to show how to do word games. Right. I don't know where it is in here, but yeah, there's a fun mm -hmm. word game one. So there's all kinds. Okay of great cards okay. um, but i'm going to come back here and i'm going to do a build your own and so i'm going to go click here and uh create my card i can do a flat card a two panel greeting card which is our most popular three panel postcard and big card so i'm just going to hit create 
And then I'm gonna go put my photo on here. And I don't know about you guys, but most of my photos live on my phone or I go and grab photos from Facebook when I'm sending. Uh, over the last week, I've been sending a lot. Like I'll find someone's dog or their kids on Facebook and I'll send them a card and just said, I thought of you today. I think I, I thought you might need an extra smile. What better than your kids to do that? And so I'm gonna go into my photos here. And uh, I've been stalking you a little bit, Gail Marie. And I love this photo. I, I cannot like believe this guy. He is so funny. He does this artwork. And there I am with my Louis Vuitton. And um, hello, that's me. Yeah, I know. Glass of wine and Louis Vuitton. I totally related. I'm like, I love this. So now I'm just going to hit save. And that's the front of the card. And when you send people cards with their photos on the front, they save them. People love yep. Um, cards with photos because we don't print photos. Everything stays digital. And these actually fit in a frame, a five by seven frame, so even better. My hall of fame is with send out cards and I just put a five by seven. Sometimes even a four by six will fit in there too. Yeah. And so now I just swipe. It's going to take me to the inside left. I can add a message. I can add photos or I'm going to leave it blank. I can swipe again, it's gonna take me to the inside right. This is where I like to type my message. So I can come in here and I can type my message. So this is going to you. Or if you like to voice text, you can do that. It was really great connecting with you, period. Thank you so much for telling your story, period. You are an amazing woman and I am blessed to know you, period. New line, new line. Sending hugs across the miles, comma. That's my, new, that's my new one lately that I've been sending. And so now what I love about this, when I looked at this system, I was looking for something that was very personal. I had a business, I was full-time corporate America, had a business on the side and had my neighbor's mom writing birthday thank you and holiday cards out for me until one of my girlfriends got my birthday card and she called me up and said, hey, I got the card and I'm like, right. And she's like, that's not your handwriting in that snotty <laughs> voice only a best friend could do. And so I knew in a moment a good gesture had gone wrong. So I was looking for something. And when I found send out cards 10 and a half years ago, right, Gail Marie, you found it 12. Yep. I loved it because we have all these different fonts, but you can also add your own handwriting and signature into the system. And so that's my handwriting. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna make it in blue and I am going to add my signature. I'm gonna make it a tad bit smaller. There we go. And so there's my message. And now I swipe one more time and on the back of the card, you can brand yourself and yep. or your business. So I have all kinds of different back panels here um, that, you can, that you can have. So if I wanted to do a different one, I would just select it, but this is my default one. So from here, that's I'm going to hit the little, go ahead. On the backing, that's an additional advertisement for um, yourself if you just want to put your family thing on there or if you want to put your business logo. So instead of on the back, it's saying from blah, 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 it is saying it's from you personally and your information. Yeah, and I love that. It allows you to keep the front of the card and the inside card all about the recipient and then your information is always on the back right because these aren't about selling people these are about appreciating oh, no. and loving on your clients and your sphere of influence your personal connection so my card is ready i can come in here and you know we talked about gifts there's all kinds of gifts including our famous uh, two-pack brownies but there's books there's you know scarves and things for kids there's gift cards including amazon lots of food items so you really can find something for anyone and then i can come down here and add my contact uh gail marie's already in my system so i'm going to select her but if she was a new contact i could add her or i could import her straight off my phone so gail marie i'm just going to go find you and you were in here hold on there you are and now i hit done i hit done and I now I'm gonna hit continue. And you guys are gonna see my card is free, including my shipping that's to anywhere in the world because I'm on what we call our unlimited 
heartfelt package. And what a heartfelt card is, it's a card that you send with a heartfelt message going out to one person immediately. We also have what we call system cards. That was like the one Gail explained um, that they sent out. They had created it once and could send it out to all the new dogs or cats that came into the clinic. But the heartfelt card we know is powerful. And so we have an unlimited package. So I hit submit and I am done. Send out cards will now print stuff, stamp, and mail this card for me, and it will go out the next business day. So Gail Marie, I know when you saw this system 12 years ago, it was long before we had the app, you were a big Hallmark fan. So when you first saw this, what, what was your thought? Oh, um, sign me up now. And um, Doug's, Doug's like, well, okay, okay. He even came to my house, signed me up, and then I'm like, okay, I want to do the clinic, but I don't want the, this, this is me, the clinic can't go underneath you, Doug. <laughs> and he goes, well, uh, you have to be um, an affiliate. And I'm like, well, okay, how do I do that? And oh, okay, he was literally in my house, we just did it. And the reason for the Hallmark love of cards, I knew that connection since a child. But for business wise, I had no idea till we started sending the cards out and just the average person in the grocery store saying, thank you so much. That was so nice of you. And you just go, oh, good. No, thank you for that card. And you're like, oh, did you really like that? And they go, oh, yeah. But we did even like Halloween. And I would have we because we were in South Tampa, we had Buccaneer players, a lot of them. This goes back, Chris Hovan, my boy. He, what are you doing for Halloween? I wanna know what card you're gonna do for Christmas. You know, last year's card is still up on the fridge. And not that we don't need your number because we got Doc's cell number in my phone. I'm like, okay, Chris. He goes, well, what do you wanna do? I said, well, the doc won't let me do what I wanna do. He goes, well, I'll go in and tell him. I wanted <laughs> the doc to be on the surgery table and all the animals over him doing surgery and he finally let me do it. And he goes, you can't send this to everyone. I sent it to everyone. So I love it. That's there's awesome. another card. And that was just taking a picture, you know, with your phone and making it work. Right. And I know um, send out cards has had a huge impact on your life from what you've told us about the stories and the cards you've received and the cards you've set. But I also know it's had a huge impact because you're out sharing your love and passion with the world oh, and helping business love it. owners. So we're about out of time here. And so I always like to finish. I know it goes so fast. Um, I'd love to finish with one last story that you would like to share with our listeners tonight about how maybe one more way that send out cards truly has had an impact on your life. I think it's helped other people understand the love and that this is a really good business. Um, I look at, yeah, look how good Hallmark's doing. Look how good Shutterfly is doing. Um, it is a great concept. Um, even my father passing, we are able to set up to have a card and a gift go every week. I do not have to go in there and do that. And when my father received his gifts and they are these pralings, he loves them, Jack Daniels. My sister was visiting and my brother, younger brother was there. He goes, oh, that's from Send Out Cards. Don't tell dad that's here yet, open it. They ate it all. And <laughs> my, my dad, the next day, or next day he says to my sister, hey, your sister's goodie box didn't come this week. What's up? And my sister goes, well, maybe it came, but Dennis and I ate it all. He goes, well, call her up and tell her it didn't come, and then we'll get another. <laughs> my sister does this, but then she hangs up and calls right back and goes, Dennis and I ate it. It really came. Don't tell him it didn't come. So that I'm telling you the love to send. You have a parent or someone across the way, and then unfortunately in the world we're in right now, that mailbox is so important. You have no idea that someone needed a card from you. A card. A card. Yeah. Especially Christ. right now. Always, but especially right now because so many people can't see their loved ones. So, Gail Marie, thank you so much for being you on do. here tonight. I really appreciate it. 
and showing your story. For those of you that are watching, we would love to have you be part of this movement called Send Out Cards from a customer standpoint or an affiliate, which means you can get paid to share this with others. Um, please get back with the person who shared this webinar with you or shared this Facebook Live with you. You probably have questions, completely get that. Get those questions answered. Ask them to send your first card for free because you can on us and go out and truly make a difference in the world. And we would love for you to join us on this truly heartfelt mission of helping people act on their prompting. So Gail Marie, again, thank you. Everyone thank you. have a good night. Bye now. Bye.